Hey guys, my name is Scoby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to show your key presses on screen and then I'm going to be showing you how to import it to OBS. This tutorial is going to be great for anyone who wants to show their key presses on screen. Maybe you're streaming, gaming, whatever other reason. It's going to be nice, quick and easy. And I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is come to the SourceForge link. Links as always are in the description down below. And once we come to this link, we're going to be coming to the download button right here. And we're going to be downloading our free no board application, which we're going to be using to show our keyboard on screen. Once this is downloaded, you want to move it to a location where you can find it easily. So right now I have it on my desktop. It will come in a zip file. So what you're going to do is have to extract out the folder and inside this folder we should get a bunch of different .kb files but what we're going to be looking for to open up this application is the application file which is about 129 kilobits in size all we want to do is double click to open it up click run and then your application should open up now on screen right now we should see our application opened up with our keyboard open now in my case it is showing an azerty keyboard although i am using a qwerty keyboard on my computer but i will be showing you in a second how to change some settings but this is going to be our basic layout if you press any keys on your keyboard they should highlight and light on screen of course we can customize all this we can even customize the fonts that show up so to actually change the settings on this what you're going to have to do is right click anywhere on this screen and we're going to be clicking into our settings right here now what this is going to do is open up this settings window where we can have a bunch of different things that we can experiment around with, change some settings and really make it customizable for ourselves. So the first thing in my case, what I'm going to be doing is changing the keyboard layout. So right now it's set to Zerti. What I'm going to be doing is changing it to the US version. I'm going to be closing this down and then the settings should come into effect straight away. As you can see, everything is set right back to a QWERTY keyboard. So everything is back to normal for me. What I'm going to be doing is going back to my settings and that's one thing you are going to have to keep in mind that anything you change in setup, you will need to close down the settings and restart the application sometimes for the settings to be taken into full effect. So let's have a quick look at the settings we have here. We have the background color, the loose key color, the pressed key color, font color, pressed font color, and a bunch of other things that we can experiment with to make this keyboard exactly for us. Now, one thing I would recommend doing is if you want to keep a transparent background is keeping the background a solid color here. Any color you choose is fine. Just make sure it's not the outline color that you have selected or the key pressed color that you have selected because we'll be able to key out this option in OBS a little bit later. So once you have all your settings set up and you have everything happy, what we can do is close down the settings and then we should leave our window open. From here, what we're going to be doing is opening up OBS. And right now I just have a blank window and I've got a bunch of different sources in my screen, but they're all hidden right now just so we can keep a nice clean window to edit with. So what we're going to be doing is coming down to our sources. We're going to be clicking on the plus on the bottom left and we're going to be adding a window capture. Now, once a window capture opens up, this little creation window will pop up. And all we want to do is give this a quick name. So in this case, what I'm going to be doing is just calling this keyboard, clicking enter. And then from here, this little window will pop up. Now, all we want to do from here is click on the window drop down. And what we're going to be doing is searching for and selecting our noboard.exe application and clicking this, which should open it up. From here, what I'm going to be doing is clicking OK. And now our keyboard is going to be added to our window. And we can see all of our key presses should show up here just as we press it. If I press some keys right now, you can see everything shows up on screen nice and easily. So the next thing we're going to do is be removing the background. This is also really easy to do. What we're going to have to do is come back to our sources. We're going to right click on our keyboard. We're going to be going to filters. We're going to be clicking on the plus and then we're going to be adding a chroma key. From here, you can select the name if you wish. In my case, I'm just going to be clicking OK. And then you should be met with this editing screen. And from here, what we're going to do is select the key color type to whatever you have selected. In this case, it's blue for me, so I'm going to be selecting blue. And don't worry if everything disappears. We're going to be adjusting the rest of these settings to make up and contrast for this. So what we're going to be doing is turning down our similarity a lot to just remove the background color without affecting the key caps as much as we can. So we still have a solid key color here. We can turn up and down the smoothness to make a nice smooth effect until you can just about remove all of the background. Now this can take a little bit of time to get this right, so don't be afraid to experiment around a little bit just to make sure this looks really good. Once you're happy with everything, what we can do is click close and then we should be left with just our keyboard on screen without any background and it's really easy to do. Now if we press any more keys one more time just to test, you can see everything works and it's as easy as that to set this up. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.